So, it was very windy today, but unfortunately I had to go to work. But my older son was able just to take some footage of the turbine spinning because I knew it was going to be very windy. Previous to this, there had been virtually no wind for a whole week. What I had actually done is I had the turbine, I took it down because it was pointless being up. And also I had taken the rectifier off the turbine to play around with the uh, LG Smart Drive motors that I'm hoping to make the wind turbine with. So, the story goes, I'd actually changed the gear on the turbine, which you can see in the second part of the video coming up. So you can't see it so much in this part. The chain is actually connected to a very small sprocket on the upper shaft, on the drive shaft that the blades are connected to, and that means, basically, that it's a lot easier to spin. Okay, it, it will make less power, theoretically, but it is a lot easier to spin. So what I've done, uh, I changed that and then I put it back up and then I just went out one day randomly and I heard it spinning. So what I did this morning was I took it down again and I put the rectifier back in. Uh, because I knew it was going to be windy, but I ran out of time to put the battery and the meter uh, to it, so I don't have any power readings from it, but I should definitely be able to get some tomorrow. It's about 18 or 19 mile an hour wind, so that should be enough to definitely to get some action. This footage is taken from a better angle so that you can now see which uh, upper drive sprocket it's running from. You can see there's definitely some unwanted action in the chain department and that's primarily because I didn't do a very good job of welding the sprocket on so it's not perfect, it's at a tiny bit of an angle. Uh, but you can see it's actually working, so for every one time the blades go round, the motor only goes round about half a turn. So you'll get less speed, lost a bit of focus there, but it does come back, bear with me. So you get more speed on the blades and less speed on the motor. Now that isn't what I'd like, I'd like less speed on the blades and more speed on the motor but with the smaller blades you can't really work it like that. I just wanted to see it spinning again uh, but the, re the main reason it hadn't been spinning it was due to the fact there wasn't any wind but I'm going to get some meter readings tomorrow of it running in this mode. I saw it only managed to go up to 15 volts for the short time I was watching it. So what I'll do, I'll just connect it up to a 12 volt system and see how it goes. And then if the wind stays strong, I'll swap it over to the bigger cog and we'll get some more readings from it. Thank you.